welcome communities without schools and those that support them. I am Jennifer Gleason, and I was a special ed teacher before I joined the department about two and a half years ago. And here with me is Ashley Satry. Say hi, Ashley. I used to be a special ed teacher before jo uh, joining the department five months ago. Awesome. And Ashley and I are your contact people for this um, audit process. We will be the ones handling this for you. And this is contact information for the whole team. Feel free to reach out to anybody. All right. So as you know, you're part of the 2324 co the cohort for the general supervision and monitoring system. And this process is outlined in the main unified special education regulations. And specifically for communities without schools, it is outlined in great detail. It tells It goes through exactly what we need to do. So we are gonna talk about the desk audit process, due dates for that, due dates for the file review, and then what happens after that. On our website is this document. Um, this just is a kind of a one page place for all of the due dates and all of the documentation. We're gonna go over all of that. Um, so when we look at files, we are looking at compliance with IDEA, MUSER, and um, OSEP requirements under Q&A 2301, which was put out in July of this year. Um, and it provides um, guidance and rules for us when we monitor you. You should have received a letter of no notification and instruction this summer. So your desk audit information is due to us January 31st, 2024. And that encompasses the accuracy document, um, fund authorization letters, child find and referral policies, and a list of your students and where they attend school, which is a you. So this is what the accuracy document looks like. And there should be a PDF of this PowerPoint right below us here. Um, if you go to that PDF, this link for the accuracy document is live. So you can, it'll bring you right to it. Um, fund, fund authorization letters are signed by the superintendent of the community without schools and it authorizes the recipient, the recipient to commit special education funds for the community without schools. Um, our guidance is to write an individual letter for each person rather than putting multiple names on one letter. Um, also, we ask that you please submit your SAU policies for referral and child find, even though you don't have a school um, you still need to have these policies in place because you are responsible. And we ask for a list of your students and the attending SAU for each of them. You can send all of this to monitoring.doe at main.gov, or you can mail it to Julie at this address and she will make sure we get it. So once we get all that information, we go through it. Um, for compliance and all that. And then um, Julie sends letters to all of the attending SAUs requesting um, student specific information. So those letters go out by the end of February and we ask the attending SAUs to send by May 1st, the student's current IEP, the advance written notice and written notice from the last annual, and section five from the previous IEP. And those as well can go to monitoring.doe at main.gov or mail to Julie. So once we go through those files, then that's everything. We have everything we need at that point. On June 30th, we will send out um, your summary of findings and your corrective action plan. 
those get sent to the superintendent of the community without schools, as well as the special education director of the attending SAU. And all evidence of correction is due on April 30th, 2025. Um, just to know if you have students attending more than one SAU within your district, the special education director of each SAU will only get information about the children who attend their district. We don't send the whole thing to both of them, if that makes sense. This is the part of Muser that lays out what we just went through in great detail. If you're interested, we have IEP trainings scheduled January and May. Um, if they're always recorded, that link there is our professional learning page if you want to just watch a recording. Um, and we have other resources. IEP Quick Reference document is on our website. It goes through everything we look at. Procedural manual, also a great tool. Um, everything, special education forms is outlined here. And we have our professional development schedule with registration links right in there. More resources and um, professional learning feedback. Let us know how we do. This is a really short one. Um, and again, any questions, reach out to myself or Ashley, or you can reach out to Julie, any one of us. We are here to help. So have a wonderful day and reach out with questions.